anniversary of the March 2019 floods. We're revisiting the heroes and the destruction, the rescues and the danger. And KETV News Watch 7's Bill Shammert has more on the Black Hawk helicopter crews who didn't hesitate to risk their lives to save others. Bill? If you go to the Nebraska National Guard's website and look up their mission, you'll find these words, to protect life and property and to preserve peace, order and public safety. Five years ago, that's exactly what they did, saving families as floodwaters rushed in. March 14, 2019, inside this hangar, Nebraska National Guard crews were ready to call it a night. We were here at the facility just getting ready to go home for the evening. I was on my way out from work, basically clocked out. But on Nebraska's northern border, the Spencer Dam had collapsed. Chief Warrant Officer Jeff Coniglia was watching it unfold from the Joint Operations Center. We knew once the Spencer Dam broke, people were starting to call for help, um, and really it became a state of emergency at that point in time. 911, we're in Sherry Emergency. I need help. Please, somebody help us. My dad is trapped in his house because of the flood. I need a boat. Multiple flooding events converging, creating a nightmare scenario. That wall of water um, just rushing down. It was devastating uh, to the communities that were um, south of it. It was labeled a high risk mission, but a pair of Black Hawk helicopters took off from Lincoln for the Columbus area. Thomas Powell was one of the pilots. I remember seeing houses totally enveloped with water um, up to the windows, uh, ice jams uh, coming down uh, the river. I saw herds of cattle being floated, rushed down the river. It was an unbelievable scene. Sergeant First Class Lawrence Lind is a flight medic. And it goes around your around your back and hooks onto this side. His job is to hoist down and get people into the helicopter. We saw the there was a man and a woman and there are two dogs on the roof. And so we flew around them. We saw that they were stranded and uh, there, there was nowhere to land. So we came to a hover. Down and up, up and down. The team's relying on the naked eye. Typically it would be out, you know, on the second story, a window, somebody waving or um, actually people on the roofs waiting uh, for rescue. Pilot Powell battling to keep things steady. The worst uh, weather I've ever flown in. It was it was unbelievable um, that and it was transitioning to night and uh, night vision goggle operations. The Nebraska Army National Guard rescued 112 people over a four day span. At its height, one of these Blackhawks had four crew members, 10 civilians and two dogs packed inside. We've been to Hurricane Katrina. We've been um, to Irma. We've so we've we've responded um, to federal missions to Florida, Texas, uh, Louisiana, supporting you know those states in need at that point in time, and that's part of our homeland response. Never did we ever think that we. we would be doing rescue missions here in Nebraska. As the sun came up on March 15th, the picture was clear. They say the Platte River is an inch deep and a mile wide, and that night it was a lot more than that. The damage was everywhere. It's unbelievable. Like, I never expected, you know, to be called upon to do that kind of work in my home state. And the Guard's mission was only just beginning. I mean, it was our biggest response, really, in the history of Nebraska National Guard. Over the next few weeks, nearly 500 Nebraska soldiers and airmen would help deliver water, medical supplies, fill thousands of sandbags, and save livelihoods and ranches with Operation Haydrop. We've posted more stories about the National Guard's efforts five years ago at KETV.com. Back to you. Hometown Heroes. Thanks, Bill.